Our first guest held the title for best burger in San Diego, but that wasn't enough. Chef Caesar is now serving up some of the best food in the city while staying true to his roots. With his passion for the craft and commitment to creating every recipe from scratch, it's no wonder that foodies are lining up to see what he has in store. Whether it's hunting down the Monster Burger food truck, visiting Craft House, or booking their catering. There seems to be a buzz about Chef Caesar, and he's here now to tell us all about it. Caesar, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So for the people who don't know you, I know you very well because I'm always visiting your location. Tell them a little bit about how you got started in the industry and what inspired uh, you. Ever since I was little, I was always in the kitchen um, helping out my mom, grandma, aunts, Christmas parties. Um, so growing up, you always had a passion for food? And I, was always, I was always like, interested in being in, in, involved, like helping uh -huh. out. Like, what does that do? Oh, why are you adding that? And start asking questions. And um, So you learned at a young age, and then you went on to culinary school, right? Yeah, so in the mid-20s, uh, mm -hmm. I was like, what am I going to do? You know. So I went to culinary school. Um, I loved it. Two years down the line, I got my associates. Started working in downtown, a few restaurants. Um, and you were known for your burgers. Correct. And do you want to share a little bit about one so, of yeah. your recognitions? In our first year, uh, we mm -hmm. were part of a big event in uh, Del Mar Food Truck Festival. They mm -hmm. have uh, two every year. Um, so this was our first year. And it was 50 food trucks, uh, Orange County, LA, San Diego. Um, each food truck could present a dish of, of their own. Um, we presented one of our burgers, the Wake and Bake Burger. Mm -hmm. What does that have in it? Uh, our signature patty, uh, pork belly mm -hmm. that we cure and uh, slow roast in house, and then we top it with a fried egg. Uh, okay. Our secret sauce, organic butter lettuce, tomatoes, and a fresh baked brioche bun. So okay. it's, it's a pretty monster burger. So that's what you presented. That's what we presented, yeah. Um, everyone else presented a dish of their, their liking, whatever mm -hmm. they, they had, um, and that burger took the prize. So you guys won. We won, yeah. Best burger in San Diego. That's pretty big, just starting off. That was like within our first six months of opening. That's very cool. Yeah. And like you said, now you still have the food truck. That's still making its rounds around the city. They can still look for that. Correct. But you have Craft House. Yes. So Craft House, uh, opportunity came up. We took it. Mm -hmm. And it's great because a lot of people are always looking for Monster Craft food truck. Mm -hmm. And either we're at this part of town and people mm -hmm. are on this side of town and they're like, oh, my God, you're like, you're so far. Or when, when are you going to be in this area? Mm -hmm. um, now we have a location that's open seven days a week, mm -hmm. um, and people can come and have our burgers. So it's in North Park? In between University and El Cajon Boulevard, mm -hmm. uh, 30th and Polk. It's inside of a brewery, which is a really good mix. Really good, yeah. Uh, Rip Current Brewing. Um, uh -huh. They have amazing beer, um, wide variety, and then pairs well with our food. So, I mean, if you go there, it's just... I think that's a perfect mix. Sometimes you go to breweries or you go to a drinking spot, and you don't imagine it having really good food. But they were able to find you guys, and now you've expanded your menu, right? Correct. Yeah, we've expanded our menu, um, added a bunch of more items, mac mm -hmm. and cheese, wings, uh, sandwiches. And you make this sound so simple, but you have to get <laughs> into the details because it's not just mac and cheese, and your burgers are not just burgers. You grind the meat, am I correct? You grind da the meat daily. Daily, yes. The buns are fresh. The buns are fresh. They get delivered fresh daily. Um, Everything is made from scratch, um, all our sauces. Um, everything we put into our uh, food is made from scratch, except uh, ketchup. Can't mm -hmm. beat that, right? <laughs> That's right. But you know, a lot of places you go, even fine dining, they might have frozen food that goes into those dishes. Yeah. And here you are, you're in a brewery, you don't expect everything to be made from scratch and be tasting that good. Correct. That's really impressive. I think that's something that needs to be highlighted. So you also still do catering, right? And that's Correct. through the food truck. Through the food truck, yeah. So now that um, we have the food truck that also goes on a daily route, mm -hmm. um, we're trying to focus that more on our catering since um, we have Craft House now and we just want... Um, Monster Crafts to focus on catering, big mm -hmm. events. Um, it, it's always in uh, Food Truck Fridays at Balboa Park. Okay. Um, like I mentioned before, Del Mar, uh, the Del Mar Food Truck Festival. Mm -hmm. Just around uh, around town, if there's concerts, there's uh, things happening in the Bay. Mm -hmm. um, just everywhere there's, there's a crowd and, and they need a food truck, uh, mm -hmm. we're always part of that. And you've gone to certain events, like you said, to concerts. And Correct. you've catered for other places. So what kind of uh, events have you catered so far? We've catered, um, we've been to concerts, mm -hmm. um, we've been to wine festivals, mm -hmm. uh, 
taco festivals down at the waterfront and corporate park. corporate events also. Right? Corporate events, yeah, just a handful of events, yeah. That's very cool. So like we said, you know, you're now in Craft House and you guys have this expansive menu. I feel like you've been changing it up. You've been getting a little healthier. There are some options yes. <laughs> for those people that aren't looking for meat, right? Correct. Um, so when we first opened a food tr uh, our food truck, it was just mainly meat, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So when we, we uh, came into North Park, we saw that there was a bunch of people. Um, well, that community is uh, more, more health conscious and mm -hmm. they want healthier items. They're more vegetarians, they're more vegans. Mm -hmm. So we started slowly, slowly incorporating um, vegetarian options, um, and it's been a hit. Buffalo cauliflower, uh, mm -hmm. fire roasted corn, charred broccoli, mm -hmm. just, just to name a few, but um, they've been a very big hit. So now we have just a section in our menu just to um, uh, focus on vegetarian people and They've been coming in. That's great. That's another thing that I feel like you wouldn't normally find inside of a brewery is a healthier side of, of food items. And I know that you're also switching your menu as the seasons come and go. So what yeah. can we expect for the next season? Ah, so for the next season, um, we're going to start incorporating uh, a lot more fresh fish, mm -hmm. um, ceviches. Um, Springtime's coming around. Yes. so. Uh, some of these more more fresher items, um, mm -hmm. local items. Uh, we're going to start. Um, there's a there's a farmers market that happens on every Thursday in North Park. So okay. we're going to start sourcing out uh, products from that farmers market, putting it in our chef specials menu. That's beautiful. And just just rotating it uh, weekly. That's beautiful. I think that's really cool that you know you're from San Diego and you're using products that are from here and you're making everything from scratch, which I know I can be attested to it. That That's why everything tastes so well. Thank you very much for being here with me today, Caesar. It's Thanks a for having pleasure. Me. And Likewise. I'm sure they'll go out and find you at Craft House or find the food truck all around town. Thank you. Thanks.